Your best at time, your ultimate best at time is never enough. Just because you've given your all and what you call, and I quote, your best, that doesn't mean it is enough. Because sometimes you need to look at the situation. Depending on whatever situation you find yourself in, giving our best to certain situation and the circumstances doesn't even cut it. Your best at times will not cut it. What I would like you to do from now on is to give whatever project you have in your life more than your best. By giving more than your best at the gym, giving more than your best at work, giving more than your best when it comes to your nutrition, giving more than your best in whatever you do and what you say could be enough than your best. All right? 100% shouldn't be what you limit yourself at. 100% should be the starting point. You need to set the bar high in your life if you want to achieve something. If you want to hit somewhere with your life, wherever you are, if you can give it more than your best, then your likelihood of success in whatever you find yourself in is likely to happen and you will become successful. Because guess what? While others are giving their 100%, you have suppressed that. You, you, you are at another level of forgiving. If we are going to put a percentage on it, you are giving more than 120 or 50%. How about you give 200%? Guess what? Because you are built to give more than 200%. Remember to say that we, we as human haven't even used 1% of our brain capability. And guess what? We have 100%. Can you imagine ever achieving 100% of our, the uses of our brain? It's going to be amazing, right? I know. So you are built to give more than 100%. So because if you don't set the bar high and achieve what the ordinary people cannot achieve, then you will become ordinary like everybody. You won't be able to stand out. The code of standing out is to outworking, outthinking everyone else around you. Outworking, outthinking, outdoing, whatever it is. If you have to stay up at night, just to achieve those goals while others are asleep, I would say you should. You should because you're built for it. It's easy for me to come here and encourage you and motivate you if I'm not in your uh, different circumstances. I get it. But guess what? We are all human and we have all, we have all went through, um, you know, different, uh, I mean, we have all went through difficulties in life. We've all faced difficult moments, difficult situations in life. I am not perfect, you are not perfect, okay? I will not tell you that I've lived my whole life without facing difficulties. We've all faced difficulties. But depending on how you handle the difficulties that you, you are facing right now where you are, you won't be able to, to make it. I mean, it, it makes a whole, a whole different. The way you handle those difficulties right now and where you are makes a huge difference. Knowing that you're not alone in this journey, others that came before you and that will come after you and that are with you uh, might be going through a difficult situation than you. But guess what? We're not talking about everyone else. We are talking about you, the person who is watching this. You can do it. You can make it. Don't let anyone stop you, not even yourself. Sometimes we worry about people stopping us. How about you? What if it turns out that you are the one who is stopping your own self? Now let's address the person that you are. I'm addressing you. I don't care about all the other distractors around you. We can handle them easily. But there's one thing you and I cannot handle and that is ourselves. If we don't have control and we don't have the discipline, then everyone else can influence us. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. So therefore, I would like for you to discipline yourself and remember your best is never enough. From now on, from today, give more than your best because you're built for it.